We're getting a clearer picture of who could replace the Illinois Attorney General Lisa Madigan since she's not running again. We already know this woman, former Miss America Erica Harold, is running on the Republican side. On the Democratic side, we have one declared candidate this afternoon and one possibility that's already fizzled. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely picks up our story. Powerful Alderman Ed Burke shook up the race when he began promoting his daughter Sarah for attorney general. But that trial balloon quickly popped. I think that she has determined that at this point uh, in her family life, um, with three uh, little ones under eight, it simply would not be the best thing for her family. What's more, the thought of following 16 years of Lisa Madigan, daughter of House Speaker Mike Madigan, with the daughter of another powerful Irish Paul may have simply been too much. And former federal prosecutor Scott Drury, who today dropped his run for governor to seek the attorney general's job instead, hinted at a backroom deal. I believe that, that Lisa got out of the race so late because there was a concerted attempt to not have people who can get into the race. It's, it's not easy to run statewide, so there's only going to be a few people who are really in a position to run this race. Meantime, State Senator Kwame Raoul is expected to jump into the race tomorrow. One of the things I could do differently than what's been historically done is you leverage the Attorney General's office to advance more criminal justice reform. And while Lisa Madigan's departure may boost a Republican's chances, GOP candidate Erica Harold says her message is the same. I've been focused on putting the people over the powerful, focusing on ensuring that the office is used in a non-ideological manner, and so my message won't change in any way. Harold, who's a former Harvard law grad and an attorney, already has the backing of Governor Rauner, and today she picked up support of House GOP leader Jim Durkin as well. Meantime, on the Democratic side, Park District President Jesse Ruiz says he's definitely running, and State Senator Elaine Nykert says she is mulling it over. In fact, she's already begun passing petitions. Seems easier to say who's not running mm. than who is. The list is getting very long on so the this Democratic is, this side. This is rich. So Drury's allegation that Lisa Madigan's getting out of the race so late as perhaps a placeholder for Ms. Burke, who now apparently doesn't want to run. Is that kind of how the checks and balances go here? Well, yeah, he was uh, alleging that the powers that be cut some kind of agreement to open the door for someone who was already inside and well placed to take advantage of this late start. You need money to do that. You need organization. Right. You need knowledge right. of the system. <laughs> Certainly Alderman Bark would have all of those. And name recognition. Yes. There you go. Okay. Thank you, Derek.